Hello everyone. Our today's topic is the conversion of number system from octal number system to the decimal number system. So as you know that in octal we have the numbers from 0 to 7 and in decimal we have the numbers from 0 to 9. So in uh, here we have uh, we are given with the octal number 765 and we have to convert into it into decimal. How we can do that? Let's see. As its base is 8 and we have to convert it into decimal, so we have to multiply this nu these numbers with the base 8. So, I'll write the base 8 first there and I have to write their locations at 5 is at 0 location, 6 is at 1 location and 7 is at the 2 location and the same location will be the power of 8. So, first we will take this 2, so 8 square multiplied by this 7 plus 8 and the location is 1 so 8 power 1 multiplied by the number is 6 plus again we have to write the 8 this is the basically base this base and 8 and now the power is 0 so 8, the, 8 to the power 0 multiplied by this number 5 so what we will get is 448 plus 48 plus 5 as 8 raised to power 0 is equals to 1 and finally, what we will get the number in decimal form is 501. This is the decimal equivalent of the number 765. Similarly, we can all we have to apply the same approach in the next number that is 345, where again they are at location 0, 1, and 2. As the base is 8, so we have to write the 8. The power of 8 will be this location, 8 square multiply by the number at that location that is 3 plus again 8 the location the power will be the location 1 multiply by the number at that location that is 4 plus again 8 raised to power 0 that is the value of that location 0 multiply by the number at that location that is 5 so what we will get is 192 plus 32 plus 5 the answer will be 229 with the base 10 so we have converted the octal number 345 the base 8 into a decimal number that is equals to 229 so this is the method of conversion now we will convert a decimal number we will see how we can convert a decimal to the octal that is a base 10 to the base 8 so its method is very simple what we have to do we have to do a repeated division of the number by 8 because we are going to convert it into octal number so i'll write 15 and do a repeated division as 8 ones are 8 and the remainder is 7 so what we will get is we have to as we have to write in this manner so the octal equivalent will be 1 7 with the base 8 similarly we have another number that is equal that is 501 we have to do the repeated division of 501 by the 8 as we have done in the example number 1 so 8 6 are 48 21 then 8 2 are 16 and the remainder will be 5 again we will do the uh, the uh, division 8 7 are 56 and the remainder will be 6 now we can't divide it further so we will write it in this manner and what we will get is 7 6 5 this is the octal equivalent of the given decimal number now we move towards the last example 3 4 5 what we have to do we have to again do the repeated division with the remainders as 8 4s are 32 25 8 3s are 24 the remainder is 1 then again we will do the division 8 5s are 40 and the remainder is 3 so we have to stop the division here as we can't divide it further so what we will get is the decimal equivalent that is equals to 531 so this is how you can convert octal to decimal and decimal to octal. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you.